Good morning and welcome back to the Zero to Hero Apocalypse. Um, so I was thinking after last episode and finding two very important tools, namely the Mod Axe and the Sledgehammer. Um, you know, also a little bit, uh, also mentioning last time that I, I didn't know where I want to take this playthrough, and I think it's, I still don't have really a long-term goal, but um, this find of the Sledgehammers especially gave me a little bit of an idea for a short-term goal. And I mentioned that we have in West Point a gun store. And this gun store is this little green building over here. Now, going through the middle of town, there's a couple, two or three zombies there. But what I already did here is chop down trees on this side of the fence to allow us access with our car to the riverside here. And then we can use the car, drive down on the bank of the river all the way here we probably have to fight from at least here a little bit clear 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 fight 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 clear 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 and then probably here cut down through the open fields and approach this thing from the north um, bash ourselves into the gun store and then see what we can do with some guns so that's kind of the plan. I have no idea how many zombies there are going to be. We're going to need to do some, some shouting because, you know, fighting between the river and the woods seems a little bit scary. But it seems like an interesting thing to do. Um, so anyway, for today, I'm going to you know, jump down on the soup that I made last night. And we're going to grab... Two bolts of stew out of that one. Yeah, we kind of uh, a little bit like weight is is bouncing all over the place. Um. Now let's actually make sure we. Yeah, let's put these these two into the car. Yeah, also, did I refuel you? I did not. 5172, that's fine. That is totally fine. Okay, I've got two hammers on me. I've got the machete on me, and we do have spare hammer, spare metal bar. That should be enough. We have the car nearby. Also, apparently, we have a foyer day. Without repeating helicopters, I'm not listening to the weather report every day, so... Some days are gonna be foggy. And yeah, so I, I did cut this down here um, yesterday. I made some some additional boxes for storage in the garage um, because the shelves there were getting full. Now I'm fairly certain that driving off-road will damage your tires a little bit, or I mean they, they wear down a little bit faster than if you're driving on road. So we gotta keep an eye on that. I think the cars we saw um, at the church, they weren't in the best condition, but uh, we should be able to maybe get a get a tire or two from them. Uh, yeah, I think we're going, we're going to machete here now. What's our way to a base here? No, oh, okay, that's. I think that's roughly the area where we um, parallel to the road where we killed the the survivor group at the very start. Just trying to make sure here that we're not killing the enemies and the path. Okay. 
keep enough room for driving. Now, I'm fairly certain that you don't damage your tires when driving over corpses, but what can happen, of course, is that you spin out of control. Yeah, I actually have no real idea what to expect from this approach. I don't think I've ever um, tried to tackle West Point from this direction. So we'll see if that was a good idea or a terrible one. Okay, I think we are now parallel to this. Okay, that should all be still relatively clear. Holding my breath here while I'm looking to the sides. I think that is a tree that I might just want to remove right away. There you go. That's just asking to be removed. Oh, and one other thing I should mention, and you probably already noticed, I did add um, the stats mod so that the the time survived and the kill count is constantly on screen, just as a little bit of a um, yeah. So I don't have to have to many look it up every time. Pretty much, a little bit of convincing. I still um. On that note, still trying to keep it minimal, right? These are still um, only the mods that I showed in the, the starting episode. To have that vanilla mod, uh, vanilla PC feeling, yeah. After we used the katana last time, I thought we'll bring out the machete here, keep working on that on that long blade skill a little bit, make the next katana even better. Yeah, it looks like we're coming into a little bit of a busier territory. Snuck up on that one like a like a professional sneaker, yeah.
Okay, we are already at the picnic area. Okay. This, I think, just north of the school. Alright, um, probably a good idea. I see a bunch of zombies down there. Good idea to turn off the engine here. Not gonna be fire of uh, driving that far. I think I'm gonna push also a little bit south here. Just to make sure that there's no um, immediate surprises, like if we have a meta event in the north, that anything coming from the south takes a while to get there and isn't there right away. Also, I might just be curious about any houses down here. A zombie with a, with a fishing tackle. I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, now I've seen it again. Okay, so they're fishermen zombies. Interesting. What's this little group here? Like... Little, little hunting expedition? Everybody needs to dress up in camo clothing so the fish don't see them. Grab the bandana. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. But I still need to get some some better drips. So you might have noticed also, by the way, these are the skinny leather um, skinny leather pants and the the black and white sneakers we found the other day. Uh, let me actually have a quick look at the map. Yeah, so we are just just north of the school here. Which also might be, you know, an interesting or rather uh, an idea to walk down this way and then drive home with our pickup that's still parked there. Just to have that back at base. All I'm really trying to see is if any of these houses here are barricaded, and then I'm gone. Then I'm focusing on the additional task. Can't quite make it out for that house. That seems to not be... No, I don't think that is. Okay, let's... Focus on the original objective.
So, and the big question also when we're pushing down this, how much of this am I gonna include in the episode and how much I'm gonna do off camera with some, some cuts here in between? Um, because if this is gonna be like four days of just grinding down along the river, killing zombies, could become a little bit repetitive. repetitive. Level two long blades. Thing in the hiking bank. Any one more? Any more fishing tackles? No. Ah, let's have a quick look in here. I had that feeling that I was hearing uh, some zombie breathing. Full condition crowbar. Yeah, we can bring that home. Nice little fishing spot, though. Alright, so I think I'm gonna slowly kill a bunch of zombies here and uh, cut that out. And then, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll bring you back in with, with future progress here. Just past the next little group, another little picnic area, lots more zombies to kill. Machete is slowly giving up. Probably like a few hits away from breaking, but we've got hammers. We can hammer through this. I kind of wish they had bit of, uh, bigger, like, ready groups. They were gathering a little bit, like all these... Oh, oh boy. Yeah, um, you know, that, that looks like some work. Well, I'll get to it. Oh, you know, one kill away from 900? Okay, we, we'll, we'll do one more kill. Before I add another cut here. Nine hundred zombies. All right, um, I'm, I'm gonna get busy here. Just a quick look at the fields that are before us. Um, also, let's have one quick look at the map. We're only here. This is where we are. This as our target. All right. Get working. Oh, roughly 70 kills and a broken machete and an almost broken hammer later. And um, yeah, it's, it's still going on, but we just came across an annotated map for Louisville. Ah. Old fuck with house full of food and no guns. Why would I go there? Alright, um yeah, we'll keep that keep that in mind. Can I I don't like that you can't right click. Um started to rename the annotated maps. 
bits or that I know from from the shelf what's inside. But on that, it's it's gone fairly well. I had to pull out the piano chair and rest one time, but other than that, just some good old zombie clobbering. And I'll continue doing that here. Closing in on number 1000. Uh, and, and, and 10 more. Um, okay. Let me just. Just walk a little bit, get you all lined up. Exactly ten more. Yeah, I wanna look in. It's almost eight in the evening. Oh, it's uh, still a little bit to go. Oh boy. This is gonna be we're gonna be here for a while. Um Okay, let's make sure the sides are clear. Like what I'm most afraid of kind of when doing this is that there's a big loud meta event somewhere on the river and then half the town comes to investigate. And if that happens behind us, we have a little bit of a walk back to the car. Oh, I should have rested after the 10. Okay, let me just... Walk you back a bit. Might be a good opportunity to call it a night after this group. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head back to the car. Well, let's take a quick rest here. In case I need to fight over there. Yeah, because you already see some, some zombies filling back in. They're like, oh, there's no room towards the river. Let's go there. Maybe more free fishing tackles. No. Oh. 
account like when this this right click highlight menu is not going away and you kind of have it stuck to your mouse cursor all right let's get this guy out of the way and then i'm gonna head back home now depending on how crowded and tedious this this operation is gonna be there might be um an idea to try to secure a building here like one of those two-story buildings just here near the docks just so that we don't have to drive all the way back back home and can kind of have a little safe house here but safe house in the middle of west point seems sketch all right i'm gonna head back home have a little rest have a sleep and come back out here in the morning It's the fresh morning, and it looks like we have a little bit of a fill-in here. Also, yay, another foggy day. I did hear to the weather report um, on the drive here. Oh, that's... And we're gonna have severe thunderstorm coming in in two days. What is happening here? Didn't even see that guy driving by. So many coming out of the woods. I so completely missed that. I, I don't. I don't understand. Oh yeah, not a zero anymore. That's for sure. That was weird. That there are suddenly so many at the water side after I drove past this and I didn't see them. Maybe it was the fog. Maybe it was something else weird. Um, that's... Your responsible survivor. A quick rest. Yeah, remember yesterday when I said I tried to not kill zombies in the path that we're driving? Yeah, that, that, you know, never mind. Nobody has time to, to pay attention to that. Okay, so we're not even at the picnic area yet. The first Fisher dock there has me a little concerned. That's 
gut aussieht. Okay, uh, let's, let's turn off the radio. And then get out again, because there's another zombie coming. on through here. Kinda wanna push up at least to the next set of tables and then go on foot from there I think. Uh, maybe we can push on a little bit further. Now with that severe thunderstorm coming in, um, that's probably gonna be a few days where I'm just gonna be standing, staying at base, reading books and doing stuff. Which also gives um, some time for the zombies here to, to clean up, to despawn. Oh, it takes nine days. Because that's a little bit my concern here, that I'm constantly going to be subjected to, to corpses. I mean, I need to watch for corpse sickness when we're clearing this. Because um, we're not running any mods that handle that. This is um, vanilla apocalypse settings about the corpse severity, corpse sickness severity is there, but I think it's just normal or whatever the, the setting is there. Time to say goodbye to another hammer. Plenty more where that came from. So, I'm gonna get busy here with the guys, but I'll do another cut and be back when anything um, out of the ordinary happens. Well, it's not been really an eventful day, just um, saying goodbye to yet another hammer and um, yeah, making it down the, the 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 beach here. Now, there's a huge number of zombies. Wow, well, huge. A fairly significant number of zombies just behind this tree line in the fields there. And it's... I'm, I'm kind of afraid that they're going to just fill in overnight again. But hearing those... Clear out those areas in addition to this... Feels... It makes it feel like I'm never gonna reach my goal. Just for, for, for reference, so we are now we're now here. We're just basically near this this road. Now we still have a little bit to go, and I think from here on we probably have to push down. Um because going here and then going through these trees is just it's insane. Now we, we did make good progress, right? I think that's roughly the same distance again, a little bit less. Um, but it's it's not about the distance necessarily, it's about how many zombies we're gonna have to fight. That's also one of the reasons why I added the um, the stats mod. So when I make these cuts, you can immediately see once we get back in. Oh, okay, we're like hundred zombies later than than the previous scene.
And yeah, occasional resting. Our trusty piano chair and uh, back at it. And we found another annotated map for Louisville again. All right, let me... Oh, looks like more text. Um, whoever finds this, I was Natalia Sigmundsson, lecturer in art history at Louisville University. I'm already dead. Uh, good handwriting for an undead. Uh, but I have a final request. This is only the end of the world as we allow it to be. We must secure the treasures in the art gallery or we will be truly lost. Friends managed to gather a cache of weapons in a car near the gallery. Use them to clear it. Let no one say that humanity is lost forever. Well, that's a mission. That is a mission. Um, okay. Sure, we're gonna know. Well, just casually stroll into Louisville. Um... Uh, of the map number two. Yeah. Cache of weapons in a car. Curious to see what that's gonna be, but man, that is. Um that is, first of all, really far away. Second of all, um, Louisville on six times pop. It's gonna be fun. It's definitely gonna be some shotguns and or some fire involved. Okay, I think I'm gonna just continue hammering zombies here until it's eight. It is not getting any quieter. Kind of hoping we find some more West Point maps or some some additional Riverside Rosewood maps to kind of give us a direction where to head next. Fighting two zombies like that, it's always that killing the second zombie takes just as long as the first zombie takes to, to get back up. And I hate it. Now... If I was better at the game, I could use that second after I hit a zombie where they're kind of stunned to then basically make a ground attack on the other zombie. Let's see how many have filled back in on the way back to the car here. Up, oh, yep, 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 yep. A little bit of a group here. Okay. 
Is that the whole group? I think it was. See some individual zombies standing in the trees here. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. We're also looking, Kana, if there's any zombies with um, machetes or katanas, but so far I haven't seen another one. Made it back to the car, at least. And yeah, with every day, I'm more and more considering, ah, should we, should we get a safe house somewhere closer? This is how they backfill here, um, just on the road, on the river. How bad is it going to be a little bit further south where those houses are, near the school? Is that a hand axe? That's a hand axe. That's probably a well, hunting knife. Yeah, I don't care about that. I'll take the axe. What are you? Your friends brought me weapons. Why did you not bring anything? Incredibly rude. And it's also, it's getting later and later because, you know, on the way back I still, still way more to clear than I thought there would be. I think we should be in the clear. I'm going to head back to base. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to put a cut in here. And I might just... Um, I'm not sure if we're heading out tomorrow, depending on when that big thunderstorm starts. So I'm going to listen to the radio and then make a decision on that. And then we either see you on the, on the tail end of the thunderstorm or whenever, you know, next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.